In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the most underrated pool routes in Madden 23, how you can use it as a blitz beater, and also how it will still pull zones for uh, really all of your corner routes. Now, if you're new to the channel uh, and you wanna learn how to run the Pittsburgh Steelers bunch, which is what we're talking about in this video, you can check that entire ebook out by joining our Patreon. Everything comes with membership. It's only 10 bucks to sign up and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got over 20 ebooks in the Patreon right now. You'll get access to all of them. If you sign up today, the link is down in the description below if you want to check it out. All right, guys, so we're talking about Pittsburgh Steelers bunch. We're going to be talking about to play verticals and um, kind of a kind of a fun little setup here out of this. I will say for this one, you can get it done with one slot apprentice, but this is a great hot route master setup. If you have hot route master, I like this a lot. Most people at this point in mutt, they have um, the ability the ability to get a hot route master quarterback. So uh, this is one of my favorite setups. So uh, what we're gonna do is, this is the play verts. And the main reason we're calling it from Pittsburgh is because it has this in route on the running back. You know, you don't have to have that but I do think it is helpful uh, for the offense. We're going to come out in verticals, and we want to have our bunch to the short side of the field. Now, if you take a look at this, when we have our bunch to the short side of the field to play verticals, this route to Cameron Bray will actually serve as a pull route. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Chris Goblin on a corner route, and I'm going to cover four. And I'm going to go ahead and baseline and press it and shade underneath to try to make that quarter play the corner route. And what you're going to notice is if I have time in the pocket, I'll be able to pass like this to the right and be able to attack cover four with this with this little setup. I can also do the same thing. I can also do the same thing to cover three. So again, we're gonna trust that, that seam wheel and it's going to pull the defender into the seam. Now, due to the grid system that Madden is built on, due to the grid system and the way zones play, depending on where you're at in the field, you're gonna notice that if your bunch is to the wide side and I run the same exact route combinations. Everything is exactly the same, but what you'll notice is this guy will have a better chance to play that uh, corner. It will certainly have a better chance to play if we base the line and press. So uh, you'll see here this, this tight end seam, it's just gonna struggle uh, to pull this. Now it is actually able still to pull it, but my experience would tell me that it's a little bit dicey. And I think you're better off kind of just concluding that this is a better concept to run when your bunch is to the short side of the field. Because the, the wheels will pull on either side this year, but I do think that specifically for the verticals wheel, it's better to the side. Let me show you from this example. So if I was to C route and put the running back on a wheel, which I've given you guys setups in the past here on YouTube, that has talked about this wheel and C route concept, what you're gonna notice is to the short side of the field, it's actually not the greatest. And again, look where the running back is getting versus look at where the tight end is getting. You're gonna notice that this running back is getting way out there and it's taking him a while to actually cut up and get vertical, which is another piece of the puzzle. And so what you'll see is, yes, you can throw it, but there is that little bit of hesitation that that defender is doing. Whereas if we were to the wide side of the field, um, and again, it's a little bit different. We're talking about a solo receiver and a running back versus a tight end in the slot um, because of where they're at on the field. But now we're going to put the running back to the wheel route over here, and you're going to notice that we're going to get a ton of separation with that corner run. So wheel routes will pull on either side, um, but I do think they're best to the short side of the field. Now, as I said, I do think that this works better if you have Hot Route Master. The main reason why is because we can then put this slot on a post. So you have a post, a corner, and a wheel route on the bunch side with that little running back coming underneath the play as well. And you'll see this is one of the best plays in the game. Like this little this little tight end will block for the the tight end will block for the running back out of the backfield, um, depending on what zone coverage call that it is. The post is really more so of a hedge. We're just trying to say, okay, if it's man-to-man, -man, I want to have a post that I know is going to get separation against man coverage. Posts are probably the best route in the game, in, in my opinion, for getting consistent separation against man. And then let's say that they shade inside to try to stop the post. That should open up this corner route. You see there with a the little outside pass lead, we're able to complete that um, against the defense. So as you can see there, this play just really does 
do a great job of breaking down coverages for you. Now, let's say, for example, that they play cover two to the bunch side. Uh, I want to show you something kind of interesting. So what you'll see here is this corner route will actually uh, pull the cloud flat in a, in a unique way. So let me get uh, the nano blitz out of dollar off of the game here. The four-man rush is just the best four-man rush in man history. Um, just kidding. But watch this real quick. Watch this. Um, so you see here, there's the corner route, pass lead up and outside, and it's, it's open. But the other thing that you might not have noticed is that the corner route will actually pull zones for the tight end. So let's say that they are doing a double flat or double Mabel style of defense, then you're going to notice that this tight end is going to get into a really unique position and be able to be thrown right in here. This makes us one of the best zone beaters in the game that I don't think a lot of people are really using that much this year. Now this play is also still good against man. I talked a little bit about some of the things we can do. One of the other things that I haven't touched on yet is its ability to attack shaded underneath man. Shaded underneath man is becoming one of the most popular ways to play man defense. And what you're going to notice is we're going to get a natural pick on this tight end route. And we can actually highball that up and outside away from the defender. And sometimes it will be a uh, pretty decent separation for us. Now, just to prove the point, I'm going to roll the coverage over to try to clear out some space. Um, but what you'll see is this RB will pick. And then you'll have that little separation right there. You can highball that up and out. And you see we're able to get that separation. If you have short and elite, you have a bigger, stronger, faster, more athletic tight end you're going to be in really good shape. So not only is this play one of the best zone beaters in the game, I do think it's one of the better man beaters. It's just it literally beats every coverage in the game, and it breaks down coverages, I think, in a really unique way. Now, if you want to learn more about this uh, concept, make sure you check out our Gun Bunch Offensive eBook. We lay everything out for you in that eBook, exactly how to run the Steelers Bunch. We also have other Bunch eBooks in there as well, including Washington and West Coast and uh, working on a Cincinnati one actually right now as well as Indianapolis. So if you want to check all that content out, make sure you join the Patreon. You get all the eBooks for just $10. Uh, it literally gets you access to everything, all the updates um, for becoming a member. So if you want to sign up, the link is down in the description. You'll get immediate access to over 20 eBooks and several pro tips as well and updates. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.